Hey everybody, a while ago we did a video on the uh, x-axis indicator mount and at the time I said I'd make a video for the z-axis scales and I never did. And I, you know, it didn't really bother me, but I actually had one viewer ask me about uh, the scales and how they were mounted uh, when he noticed them in the other video. Uh, so we're going to quick go over that uh, just, just so anybody who is looking for the information has it. Uh, so I will link, I don't remember exactly where I bought these scales. Uh, I'll try and find the link. If not, I know you can get something very similar through Micromark and I'll link that in the description. So in the previous video, we had drilled and tapped some holes all around uh, the carriage uh, just for different things we could mount at different points, including this was in mind at the time. Uh, so I did start by attaching the uh, the scales to the carriage with some brass bracketry that mounted through those holes. Um, I didn't really think there was anywhere good on the lathe itself to mount the, the actual rail, the actual scale of the scale. Uh, so I'm mounting it to the 2x6 that my lathe is mounted to. Makes it a bit complicated when I have to pull out my lathe, but it hasn't been that big of a deal. Uh, so what I did was I mounted it here first uh, to the correct drop that I needed to reach the 2x6, and then I let it float in here. Um, I sunk some all-thread rod into the 2x6 and glued it in place. And then while it was floating, I just used some, um, I made some aluminum clamps and thumb screws uh, so I could clamp it right where it was floating without, you know, pushing it around or inflecting it too much. Um, beyond that, I did cut a slot in the table uh, for the wire to come down through. And the actual gauge is just sitting on a 3D printed bracket here. Uh, it lifts off if I need the full travel of the rails. And uh, and then that's also just mounted with a with a quarter inch uh, thumb screw, like a like a camera tripod mount. Um, so there is a little bit of flex in this system. I lose about five thousandths uh, of an inch when changing directions, and um, you know it is what it is. Um, it, it's very functional, and I think if you're if you're used to trying to be precise on manual equipment, you know you're also used to accounting for backlash in your systems. Hey guys, uh, that wasn't really the full build video that I had promised to make, but I did uh, wanted to just get that quick addendum in there for people who wanted to know how I did mount them or maybe how they might be able to mount them to their own lathe. Uh, so that's all I got for you today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.